Welcome to the official second episode of the Feel the Pillar series. I am your host, Denisha McCurchin, and today I am joined with very special guests, Elder Randy Skeet, Brother Robinson Altino, Sister Stacey Ann Brown, Brother Anthony Ralph, and Elder Selon Gilbert. Now, have you ever worked so hard throughout the day that when you laid down on your bed, you felt like you were experiencing the best repose of your life? Well, God wills that we work and rest. He did that in Genesis. After creating the earth in the six days, Turn God rested on the seventh, then blessed and sanctified that rest. This is called the Sabbath. And the question is, should we be keeping the Sabbath? And if so, when and how should we keep it? What is the relevance of the Sabbath in these last days of Earth's history? Does it have anything to do with the mark of the beast and the seal of God? Stay tuned for the Q&A segment with Elder Randy Skeet as we answer these questions by the grace of God. So please don't keep this word to yourself, but take a moment to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And by God's grace, I'll be monitoring the chat and maybe your question will be posed. So let us begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we welcome your presence here today. We thank you for the power of your word. We thank you for your spirit, dear Lord. And we ask in the name of Jesus that you would direct this program and let one person, at least one person, some person, hear your truth today and be transformed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Now. Today, we will have Sister Stacy Ann delivering a poem for us. And she is no stranger to the word inspired. And beyond being a poet, she is an elementary school teacher and medical missionary. So please welcome Sister Stacy Ann Brown. Thank you so much, Sister Denisha, for having me back here again. This is definitely a blessing. And so I want to begin by saying, happy Sabbath. Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Let me explain to you exactly what that means. Mark 2, 27 puts it perfectly. One came before the other. Can a baby push out its mother? What? All right, let's go back, back, all the way back. Back to the beginning in the Garden of Eden, before Eve ate the fruit from the tree that was forbidden, when there was no sinning, just perfect harmony, God took seven days to create all that you see, the heavens, the earth, the plants, the animals, and the human beings. That means I'm not a relative of a monkey, an ape, or a chimpanzee. It might be for you, but God made me. <laughs> now, let me get back to the story. You see, seven, the seventh day was not quite like the rest. On this day, God implemented rest, sanctified, made holy, and blessed. You see, seven is the number of perfection. Earth was void, so it had to come from heaven. Imagine this, seven That's days with no rest. Please mute your devices. Thank you. Imagine this, seven days with no rest. Then we'd complain. Our knees, our backs, our chest. For sure, right? You see, Exodus 16, 23 says to me, the Sabbath rest is holy unto the Lord. Then why we do whatever, anything that we want? It didn't say Jews, Greeks, or Gentile. So why we take the Sabbath day and lock it away in a file? And don't play me for a fool. But if you don't know, I'm here to teach you. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy day. Thursday, Friday, happy day. Seventh day is the Sabbath day. Wow. Pardon me for my insensitivity. I have a great task to snap you back to reality. God's law is like life and death. So powerful, it illuminates our steps. If you break one, you're guilty of breaking them all. But why would you? They only reflect the characters of Christ our Lord. So I take my apologies back. Isaiah 66 to 3 tells us what happens when the Lord comes back. 
from Sabbath to Sabbath, new moon to new moon, the Sabbath rest will be a continual habit. And so, like I said from the start, from the beginning, the Sabbath rest is divine shared with us human beings. So with a smile on your face, can you say it with me? Happy Sabbath. God bless you and thank you.